Thank you. Just in case anybody doesn't know what resource embedding is, uh, this means uh, putting all those little files that you need, such as um, icons, uh, your interface definition files, styling sheets, and things like that. It means stuffing all those things into together uh, into your executable file. Now, um, some of you might know that uh, three years ago, for the first time in my entire career, I became an employee. <laughs> and I now have a boss, and that is my son, I have to say. And uh, six months ago, my son said, we must do resource embedding. And uh, the advantage of resource embedding, of course, is that, that all these little files that are stuck around, um, if it's embedded in the executable, we will not lose them or accidentally delete them or something like that. And it also makes the um, installation script um, a tiny bit easier. And uh, my boss uh, came up with uh, some complicated um, external application which did it for you. Um, and I looked at this and I thought, this is ridiculously complicated. Surely we're in fourth. Um, embedding resource files must be simple as ABC in fourth. And it turns out uh, that it really is. So uh here we have the word uh to embed a specified file you specify the entire path um to the file there and uh, that is how you embed it um, within the source code and it gives it a fourth name which is exactly the same as the fully qualified path name so i won't go through this um, i'm running out of time now so i won't go through that in detail but this works really nicely. And once you've got that word, uh, lo and behold, uh, you can embed entire directories and uh, the SVG icons directory in one of our applications has got 30 or 40 files in there. And that sticks them all within the uh, fourth code in one little instruction there, embed directory, as you can see. Now, uh, when you come to use these things, um, in the majority of cases, uh, you can use them. There are alternative um, calling functions in your libraries which enable you to use them by pointing to the actual data and giving a data length. Uh, but there are one or two cases uh, where the only function that you've got available actually takes um, a file name. And uh, if that is the case, uh, then you do need to uh, debed them. So this is a little word which uh, debeds icons. And the reason for debedding icons is that you actually happen to specify icons within your styling sheet, your CSS file. So that's a, a debedding. And just as a very quick example, um, this is uh, an example of how you use an embedding uh, thing in there. So um, you know what the path name is. Um, and so uh, you just search for it and execute it, and that gives you the address of where it is uh, within your fourth code. So, OK, simple as that, chaps. Embedding resources in fourth is easy. Thank you very much, Nick. So did, it code, did that code convince your son to switch over to fourth? <laughs> How far <laughs> along are you on that track? <laughs> Well, I think a, a much more, you know, that it, it is a good argument for using Forth, actually, because it turns out that doing it this way is a lot simpler than using an external application to do it for you. Certainly. Um, but I think um, I'm more to the point is actually um, FQL, which we use really very extensively. And uh, I think it's one of the most convenient ways of interfacing with SQL of any language that I've come across. So that's a more convincing argument, really. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, are there any questions? Uli, you wanted to say something? Oh, no, I just, just want a, to confirm this. That's an really affirmative good. Affirmative remark, wonderful. Any other questions for Nick, or do we leave him off to his uh, honorary duties? <laughs> I, I, I already sneaked my tie on. We, 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 we couldn't help yeah, but yeah. notice, yes, yes. But, uh, but yeah. Nick yeah. being Nick, you're always very formally dressed, so. Uh, oh, this is this is the well, the the memorial service, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of course, in our, for our town. Nick, so it was, a, it was a pleasure to see you again. 
indeed. And it was a to you in person. All of you and it's great fun, and I'm really looking forward next year to seeing all of you um, in person. So thanks very much for all the input and all the ideas that I've received today. And I'm going to have to sign off now. So see you again soon. If anybody wants any source code, by the way, I'm always happy to um, supply it. Certainly. Thank you very much, Nick. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye.